SGLT2 inhibitors explained in three minutes. Let's begin. The SGLT2 inhibitors, or sodium glucose cotransport 2 inhibitors, are one of the newer medications used to lower blood sugar in patients with type 2 diabetes. These drugs can be identified by their suffix gliflozin. For instance, empagliflozin, or its brand name Jardiance, or dipagliflozin, or canagliflozin. So, how exactly do SGLT2 inhibitors reduce blood glucose levels? But firstly, what is SGLT2? Sodium glucose cotransporter 2 is a protein found in the nephrons of the kidney. Approximately 160 to 180 grams of glucose is filtered from the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule in a day. SGLT2 is a protein in the proximal convoluted tubule that acts to reabsorb filtered glucose back into the blood. Approximately 97% of filtered glucose is reabsorbed into the body through SGLT2, and the remaining 3% is reabsorbed through another protein called SGLT1. As a result, very little glucose is excreted through the urine. As the name suggests, SGLT2 inhibitors, such as empagliflozone, bind to SGLT2 and prevent the reabsorption of glucose back into the body. As a result, more glucose is excreted through the urine, and this results in a reduction in blood glucose. So to summarize, SGLT2 inhibitors act to decrease glucose reabsorption in the kidneys, resulting in increased excretion of glucose in the urine, and this ultimately leads to a reduction in blood glucose. Additionally, this medication may also help with weight loss, and it is worth noting that SGLT2 inhibitors do not cause hypoglycemia. Looking at the side effects of SGLT2 inhibitors, urinary tract infections and genital fungal infections, such as yeast infections, are more common in patients taking this medication. This is due to the increase in glucose in the urine, which promotes bacterial growth in the urinary tract. Some patients may also experience increased frequency of urination, and this may lead to lower blood pressure due to the loss of fluids. Some patients may also notice a slight increase in their cholesterol values, as well as some nausea.